vintage. There we go. Okay. You better know it, Mindy. I mean, I do, apparently. Okay. We take them all. <laughs> all the best sexy adjectives. I gotta say, I am such a fan of Facts of Life. I still like yes. watch it and binge it. Thank you all, oh my goodness. And it's such a trip to me because Facts of Life aired 45 years ago. You still get recognized as Natalie. Yes. And like, so when people see you, what, like, what do they say when they see you? Where's Tootie? <laughs> And apparently Kim gets the same thing. Where's mm -hmm. Natalie? Always, yeah. because you two were attached at the hip yes, all the time on Facts of Life. And it was, you know, Facts of Life was such an iconic show. But like what, there were so many shows back then. What was your favorite show or TV movie that was like uh, from the 80s? Well, I have to say, I was a huge Top Gun fan. Ooh, and yeah. Yes. yes. It wasn't just the Tom Cruise. It was like an amazing story. It got me into the movies. Yes. That kind of storytelling. Uh -huh. And the music and the soundtrack and the romance and the action. And, you know, I liked boys. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we all? Now, you know, back when Facts of Life was out there, you, you hung up with guys who became superstars now. So, like, yes. do you have any favorite um, guys that you hung out with? Well, they all used to come to the tapings. Yeah, because you were on the studio a lot with yes. a lot of with the yes. stars. Yes, so it was Sean Penn. Really? It was Timothy Hutton. It was really? Tom Cruise. It was the Estevez brothers, one of you. They, you may know them as Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and the Low brothers, Rob and Chad. So yeah. they all came by the Facts of Life set? Yeah. Really? And this is before they all started booking movies. And then, you know, two years later, I'm sorry, Mindy who? <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> But like, I mean, it was so many people coming by there that you met and now they're stars. What did they do when they came on the set? Oh, just, you know, oogly eyed and what's this like? And they all wanted to be a part of it. And I just, you know, got there first. Oh my gosh. You know, it's so funny because I know um, over on that set that you guys were shooting like the Jeffersons. Yes. Over. Did Lenny Kravitz come over there? Well, I mean, <laughs> Not only did he come over, I mean, we hung out a lot. We were the same age. Really? And, oh, okay, gosh. so this makes me happy, and it would make Lenny even happier, because anytime we can show Miss Roxy. Yes, Miss Roxy. Roxy Roker, Roker. His mama. God rest her soul. Girl, well, you know, because Lenny Kravitz is coming. You hung out with Lenny. Like, you know Lenny very well. The, the grown Lenny is coming tomorrow. Any oh. tips? Oh, well, he is grown. Uh -oh. He's in... <laughs> What's so darling about all these guys that we're talking about, yes. including... Lenny, uh -huh. is that they have stayed the same. Yeah, I mean, I see any one of them out and about, and it's, it's like we're still 15 and 16 years old. Oh, really? And I find that really lovely, because you know you meet some celebrities and actors who have some attitude, and you're like, where does that come from? I know uh Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's so funny, Mindy. It's like, you're single, and you have the best story. So I know, like, do you ever run out of things to talk about when you go out on a date? Like, what's your favorite go-to story? Well, the, the go-to story isn't really a story. I, I get to start asking the questions. Oh, OK. I, I'm actually that girl. Yeah. I want to know about you and your family. You all probably know about me. OK, all right. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I like to show them that I'm interested and I'm curious and... OK. Now, do they bore you, though, once you, you show you're interested and curious? Well, I'm still single. <laughs> I believe he's in New York, uh, rather than LA, not to diss LA, but I, I truly believe my husband is here in New York. Yeah, New York and, is real. And, and I'm, I'm ready. Okay. Okay. I, I, I agree with you. New Yorkers are much more real than LA. Yeah. But you know what? This Palm Royale, I'm very excited to watch it because it is the who's who uh, on Palm Royale. But Kristen Wiig, the star of Palm Royale, she offered to become your dating coach. What'd well, she say? She has the most incredible story about how she met her husband, and it all has to do with the list. Okay. And, and not just the list we've heard about, about put down the things that you want in a man. Right. She's like, does he have clean toenails? Oh. Does it? No, she okay. says, you get specific as you can and as often as you can and write it down. And apparently that's how she conjured her husband. So okay. I will be doing some conjuring myself. So what kind of things do you have on your list? Like anything uh, well, that I, I should put I on want, my list? I want him to love to travel. Okay. I want him to be close to his family. Okay, that's a good one. Good sense of humor. Yes. Yes, and... And clean toenails. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's funny, because Kristen Wiig, uh, we did some stuff together, and she gave me some dating advice. And she said, never do a picture. Like, when you send a picture, um, take it with a candle uh, underneath your chin. So I got one, and I said, I look like a ghoul. That's what I look like. <laughs> a friggin', uh, so I'm still single, too, okay. all right? 
It's changing. It's changing. I feel we... it. By the way, don't you love being this age and not having done something yet? That's how I feel about yes. it. Very romantic. Me too. And I, I do have to say, I don't find myself to be, you know, sad single female. No, not at all. It's, it's so the many opposite. Things, yeah, yeah, it's so many things like, it's like, now what? What do I get to do now? Correct. That's what it is. Correct. Being seasoned and vintage. And this is what I love, because you're in this sexy, sexy season. Like I said, it is the who's who in this cast. You got Kristen Wiig, Laura, Laura Dern, Allison Janney. Mm -hmm. Like, what? tell us about, what is Palm Royale about? Well, it takes place in 1969, could you not tell from the wigs, uh, <laughs> Palm Beach. Yeah. And basically, Kristen's character is trying to get into Palm Beach society. Okay. And hijinks and drama ensue. Oh, and right. I hope y'all tune in. It's it's gonna be it's a wild ride. Oh, is it? It looks like it's so good. And it's 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 steamy, huh? It's steamy, it's funny, it's poignant, it's a little dark, it's kind of got it's got all the juju. Okay, so now who I saw you were outside talking to Kristen. What's your character? Who's your My character? My character is Anne Holiday. She is the editor of The Shiny Sheet, which covers all the society. Okay. But this is the little thing about Anne, is that yeah, she's on the outside, but she's also a member of the club. Ooh, so you, uh, yeah. And she is the character that befriends Kristen's Kristen. character, Maxine, right away, and befriends her and kind of shepherds her through. So uh, they start a very darling relationship that uh, takes a couple turns. Okay, all right. Now, uh, also, Ricky Martin is in the cast, yeah, right? Yeah, also. Okay, so Ricky Martin is in the cast. How I love Ricky Martin. Same. How You got all of the boys, okay. How, <laughs> how charming is Ricky Martin? He is ridiculously charming, yeah. that delicious. And the thing about Ricky is he's a toucher. Oh, is he really? I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and we just had a premiere and on the carpet I happened to be next to Ricky and he literally just kind of grabs her hand or yeah. he'd be on set with Carol Burnett, excuse me, dropped another name. <laughs> and uh, there he is. And he, and he just kind of grabs Carol's hand on stage. He just always grabs a hand and you are not mad at it. I'm telling you, we are good touchies. That's yes. the thing, we're very good touchies. Yes. Girl, I want to say thank you so much for being here, Mindy. I'm so excited you came. I, and I can't wait to watch this. Palm Royale premieres today on Apple TV Plus. We're gonna have a good time.